Hi, everyone. In this video, I would like to share with you uh, the progress I have made in connecting um, topologic, topologic pi, and energy analysis in topologic pi to the victor.ai uh, platform. Uh, basically, right now, we are able to uh, run an energy simulation at a remote server, which is uh, really good because it can be very scalable if you get a um, powerful server with, you know, let's say multi multi processors and uh, you know sending sending multiple jobs to it, it can scale up really well. Uh, but as a just as a proof of concept, uh, I'm going to run the server uh, on my computer, and I will show you how easy it is for uh, Victor.ai to uh, connect to that server. If you're not familiar with uh, Victor.ai, let's go there, show you the platform. It's a cloud platform for serving uh, Python-based applications. And you can, uh, for free, make your own application, uh, upload it, and uh, get started with it. So I will, uh, first of all, show you um, the model that I'm, I'm doing and kind of explain the, the, the workflow a little bit. So this, this whole uh, workflow will start with either a SketchUp or a Blender model as I have here. And it's a simple um, solid. Uh, there are no uh, subdivisions. I mean, this is just a demo app, obviously. Uh, you can later on um, customize this and upload any kind of file you want. But for now, what I'm assuming is that the user will come up with the building envelope only like this. It has to be modeled in meters, and uh, it assumes that uh, positive y is the no is north. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but you model it like this any way you want, and you save it as uh, or export it. Excuse me to a an OBJ file. Okay, a wavefront uh, OBJ file. So I've already saved it. Uh, so let's uh, get started. So I'm going to uh, launch. Uh, everything that is needed. So I will first start with Visual Studio Code. This is obviously, as a user, you don't have to worry about any of these things. Uh, you don't need to worry about the code or what it's doing. Uh, you would just, uh, I will show you the how it would work from a user perspective. But for now, we need to actually uh, launch this app. So I'm gonna type victor-cli start. And it starts the uh, the app, and it will you know I already have an account. I will also start on my machine the uh, worker. This is a small program that is needed to communicate with the client. So this acts as a basically a server here. So I'm going to put that here to the side, uh, and you can see here it says successfully connected to server, and here it says the app is ready. Uh, and this is where the app is. So I will control click on this URL and open it. And I will show you how the app looks like. I already have two published apps on Victor, but this app is under development. So it will be under the development tab here. So it starts like this. Uh, basically it has an intro introduction here. So you can read what this is about, this demo application, and then kind of the instructions on what to do. So basically we switch over to input and what input is asking for, first it's asking for, to, for you to upload an, the OBJ file you know, from your computer. And then it's asking for a floor to floor height, a nominal floor to floor height. So in this case, it's three meters. And then it's asking for a window to wall ratio uh, for every compass direction, you know, north, northeast, east, southeast, et cetera, et cetera. So you can change these. So for, I'm going to go ahead and change these a little bit. I'm going to put this at 0. 0.5. The south, I'm going to put at 0. 0.45 or 0. 0.4. Um, I'll change these a little bit. You know, doesn't really, you know, it's up to you what you would like to do. And then uh, you have three metrics to choose from in this demo app. You can choose the cooling loads, the heating loads, or the time not comfortable, you know, for, uh, summer or winter clothing. So I'm gonna stick with cooling loads for now and I will upload the OBJ file. 
So we can choose it from the file system. Here it is, it's called box three. And I will upload it. it has been, it's only 3K, it's very small. So close this. And once you have uploaded it, you choose it from the pull down menu. Great. So now we have our building and the desired uh, window to wall ratios and the desired metric. So we go ahead and click update here. And you will notice once I do that, let me put it on the side here a little bit. Um, you will see that uh, this will receive a job. So where is this one here? Update. And we will see if, or maybe sometimes it doesn't print it out, unfortunately. Uh, doesn't say what it's doing. Sometimes it does, not sure why. Uh, but this will take a while, a few minutes uh, to do the simulation. It's now running uh, Open Studio and Energy Plus in the background on my server, which happens also to be my laptop. But this could have been a third party server somewhere uh, that has all this running on it. And what it will do is also, it will take the building, it will slice it horizontally based on the floor to floor height, it will uh, look at the exterior walls. Uh, inclined and vertical, uh, it will find their compass angle, apply the correct um, window to wall ratio, uh, prepare the thermal zones, run the simulation, get the results, apply them to the floor of every cell in, like as a color code, as well as a list of uh, numbers, like the actual results, and it will bring it back uh, and upload it to, uh, to the Victor app. All of that happens automatically behind the scenes, which is really incredible that it can it can do all of this uh, as a client server structure. So we're just going to wait a few more minutes for it to finish. I did not want to pause the video. I would like to you know give you a feel for how long it takes to do energy analysis. Obviously, it's not instantaneous. Uh, and the more complex the building, um, you know, the more work uh, it will need. Here we go, it's coming back. And there it is. This is your building. It has been, as you can see, uh, sliced. Uh, north is that way. So you can see here, for example, north windows have uh, are larger because we've said that the north windows have a 0 0.5 uh, window to wall ratio, uh, as well as uh, the south and the southwest are a bit larger. So you can see them here. Uh, you'll notice that uh, even the inclined walls uh, are treated correctly and they get the correct uh, windows on them. And the colors on the floor, uh, you can kind of match them against the scale. Or, of course, uh, they have them listed here in terms of the cooling load uh, and the wattage. That's it, really. You can uh, then, uh, once you have this, you can uh, choose a different metric and run the simulation again. Uh, obviously, this is not optimized because um, once you run the simulation, this should be available immediately, but I have not yet done that to say, you know, you have a simulation running, uh, already run, I mean, excuse me, so you don't have to run it again, just simply get the heating load, etc. Right now, it's not very smart, it goes back and uh, creates this again, so I'll just choose that one more time. Once you choose, once you change this, and maybe you change, um, let's say, some of the um, parameters, you can run an update and run it one more time. In this case, I will pause so that uh, you get the results quickly, you don't have to wait. Okay, so it finished, came back, and you'll notice uh, now it says zone so sensible heating, different numbers, different colors, as well as, of course, I've changed the uh, window to wall ratio. So on the south, it's quite high. It's at 0 0.8. Uh, 
as well as, uh, let me increase the size a little bit here, as well as on the north side here, quite high compared to, let's say, the east, which is 0 0.25 here. And this is also south here. And that's, that's quite high as well. Uh, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.